Republican Congresswoman Lauren Boebert of Colorado took to the House floor yesterday to defend the Second Amendment. She condemned a new ATF mandate that requires gun owners to register any firearms that use stabilizing braces. Boebert called to abolish the agency, saying it's enacting a rule that functions like a law. She also encouraged the purchase of more guns. Bureaucrats don't create laws. Congress does. This rule functions like a law that Congress never passed. ATF, alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. In Western Colorado, we call that a fun weekend. But D.C. bureaucrats have used this agency to infringe on the rights of the American people. Gun-free zones are the most dangerous places in our country. The Second Amendment is absolute, and it's here to stay. A recent report states that Americans own 46 percent of the world's guns. I think we need to get our numbers up, boys and girls. Congresswoman Boebert was also part of an exchange during a meeting of the House Natural Resources Committee, where Democratic Congressman Jared Huffman of California proposed an amendment to prohibit lawmakers from carrying firearms into the hearing room. Take a look. How many members feel like they would need to carry a weapon into our committee hearings? Got I one. feel I need one everywhere here. There everywhere? Is, oftentimes we are sure. harassed in the hallways. We the, walk the, alone. The gentleman and, hasn't you. And just uh, how? And would those be loaded weapons, presumably? Not an unloaded weapon. Okay, that's helpful to know too. Uh, and of course, we heard reference to the fact that uh, you know this amendment is not necessary because the rule prevent, prevents taking armed weapons around the Capitol and into the House chamber. But we know there are members across the aisle who have tried to take loaded weapons into the House chamber. On January 6th, I was following House rules. There's three places where members of Congress cannot carry a firearm. One of them is the House floors. And I was abiding by those rules. And when I heard those doors shaking, I didn't know what was on the other side. And it was the first time in many, many years that I have been unprotected, that I was disarmed, not unarmed, disarmed, because I was not allowed to possess my firearm. My God, it's, it's headache-inducing, honestly. Jean Robinson, by the way, the amendment failed in a party-line vote. Here this woman is talking about January 6th. Yeah. January 6th, her guy and her people, like, mm -hmm. this was an insurrection to try and interrupt the process of the 2020 election. Uh, I, I, I don't even know where to begin well, where we have you know, such violent stupidity. I know. It's crazy. So, in, in other words, she wishes she had her gun so she could shoot her people who were coming in to do what she wanted to do. I think that's um, what she said. If she just, you know, if she lives in, in, in some sort of weird, uh, you know, f firearms Disneyland um, where a, a, everybody has guns and everybody shoots everybody all the time. I, it, it's insane. It's just insane. And she wants everybody to have more guns. And somehow that's supposed to be a good thing. And we all know that um, every study, every statistic, every you know, look at other countries, look anywhere, and you have more guns, you have more shootings, you have more deaths. You have uh, more mass shootings, you have more individual shootings, you have more, more gun suicides, uh, and when you have more guns. And she wants more of all of that. Um, so uh, this is crazy, but this is today's Republican majority in the House. Oh Michael God. Steele, I'm sorry to go back to you. We're dumping everything on he you needs today. We've got to get you that big, soft couch. I'm sorry. We're going to send you one. Couch, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but it has to be said, given the context that Congresswoman Boebert just put all of this into, that at 8 30 in the morning on January 6, 2021, she tweeted, quote, Today is 1776. That was a tweet from Lauren Boebert. So that's, that's that right. gives you just a little bit of context of where she fell on, on the day in the events of January 6. And of course, it was the armed Capitol Police and D.C. Metro Police who saved the lives, perhaps, of many of those members of Congress. But yeah, what, what are we what are we to make of this? I know it's just one member of Congress and she gets a lot of uh, more, perhaps more attention than she needs. But what do you make of this? 
Well, I'll stop giving you the attention because I, I've said this consistently for the last six or seven years. We need to stop engaging stupid. They're, they're light entertainment at times, but when it gets serious, we need to be serious. The reality of it is, Lauren Bulbert, that you were in a protected space. There were armed security outside and inside the building. You didn't need a gun. And who were you going to shoot? What were you going to shoot at? Right? And, and the idea that you felt unprotected just tells you what you think of the Capitol Hill police. It tells you what you think about the, the men and women who every day risk their lives for your stupid. All right? All so right. we need to understand and contextualize what we're dealing with here. And we're dealing with people who are, A, unserious, B, wholly incompetent to serve in the offices that they hold, but C, they hold should be nowhere near, nowhere near authority, power, or weapons. And the reality for us as citizens is to not just look at this and laugh at it and, and sort of blow by it, but actually take it serious and unelected. She, Coloradans, mm -hmm. you barely reelected her. Do you get it now? Do you get it now? Because this is what you sent to Washington. And if there's more of that coming, what do you, what do you think this country is going to look like in two or four years? Everybody's jack-loaded with guns walking through the halls of Congress, and you don't like what another member says, and then what? You're sitting in the committee hearings, and you know, Joe, these things get heated, right? Yeah. And you just, what? You just brandish your weapon to sort of change the tenor and tone of the conversation? What, what are we expecting that's going to happen here when these people are so jacked up to want to take the violent route? I, I, you know, so I don't know much more we can say, Willie. I don't no. know. <laughs> it's just this is what this is our Look, Congress. It's <laughs> it's uh, I know, and I mean, um, we're saying this with all seriousness and without trying to. I mean, it, it, it's hard. You have to say it like it is. We have a stupidity problem on the Republican side, literal stupidity, or or something worse, <laughs> and then Jen Psaki, um, stupidity with a violent e edge to it. Yeah. I mean, they want to have loaded. This is what has become of Republicans in Congress. I mean, this issue is enraging. I can tell you as a mother of two little kids, including one who goes to a public school where they just walk in. And if you have people like Lauren Boebert out there who are saying everybody should have guns everywhere, it is giving license for crazy people to go after innocent yeah. people. I mean, that is what is so horrifying about this. When we're talking about the rise in violence, the targeting of members, the targeting of people just for yes. being a part of civic society, Lauren Boebert is promoting that. That is what she is doing right there with the guns um, and, and how she's uh, talking about violence and arming herself. Uh, you know, I think this issue is, is so enraging because the majority, as a number of people have already said, the majority of the country, and I mean like 60, 70, 80 percent of people, think there should be universal background checks, don't think people should be able to purchase assault weapons. That is what the country thinks. Why is there not a change? You know why? The NRA that has spent $100 million since 2012 or more funding Donald Trump, Republican candidates, Ted Cruz, People are still scared of them. Until that changes, it is going to be hard to change the politics in Washington. Uh, and that is a sad state of affairs as a mother of two little kids who are innocently trotting out in the world every day. Yeah. And I just want to put a put a, a, you know, quotes around Lauren Boebert, a little frame around this incredible statement where she talks about January 6th and needing a loaded weapon on the House floor to protect herself from her people. She needed a loaded weapon that day. Think about that. They're using now January 6th as their argument to be being, bringing loaded weapons into Congress. This is where we're at when it comes to Republicans in Congress. And this is why it is very difficult to have the conversations that used to be had in Washington in years past, where opposite sides of separate parties would love to come together and have the friction that Joe was talking about, the debate that Joe was talking about, that makes us better. This doesn't make us better. 
this makes one party stupider and lose so many times that they may lose their party, which, quite frankly, the two-party system was valuable. That debate was valuable. And instead, right now, it's been dumbed down in a violent way. Coming up... 